Herzlich willkommen an Bord. Cape Town, Friday, the 13th of February 2009. The crew and passengers of Lufthansa Flight 577 to Frankfurt will probably remember the trip quite a bit longer than usual. They will experience a problem that Plus Minus reported a few days before their flight for the first time in Germany. The problem is that of contaminated air in the passenger cabin. As the air on all modern jet engine planes is taken directly from the turbines, it may become contaminated by engine oil fumes. Among other substances, the oil contains a known neurotoxin, tree crystal phosphate, TCP. How dangerous this may be is something well known by toxicologist Professor Dietrich Henschler. He had been researching TCP back in the late 1950s. Es handelt sich um einen extrem stark wirksamen Giftstoff. It is an extremely potent toxin, and the symptoms are so terrifying that everything should be done to avoid getting intoxicated by it. Nicht davon abkommen kann, dass eigentlich alles getan werden muss, um das zu vermeiden. Previously on February 3rd, Plus Minus did report about persons who had become victims of exposure to such toxicants. Symptoms range from headaches, vomiting and up to Parkinson-like shaking. When the Lufthansa Airbus took off from Cape Town, a serious incident occurred. Plus Minus got access to internal reports from the crew. Quote, Soon after takeoff, an acrid smell spread through the entire aircraft cabin. My colleagues had problems breathing, burning eyes and a burning throat. contaminated cabin air? A few weeks ago Plus Minus took swap samples from a number of aircraft operated by prominent German airlines. 90% of the samples were positive for TCP, some in very high concentrations. Airlines and manufacturers told us that there is no serious problem. Lufthansa even told us this does not occur in normal operations. And in abnormal operations? After our broadcast, we were contacted by numerous airline workers and passengers. Many feel sick. For example, airline captain Andreas Tittelbach. He has even initiated legal proceedings against his employer. The reason for suing Lufthansa City Line is because since 1994, when I started to work as a pilot on the Avro Regional Jet, on many occasions I was exposed to toxic oil fumes at my workspace in the cockpit. Since last November I'm unfit to operate any aircraft, and in this regards I believe my employer bears a huge responsibility. Und ich sehe im Zusammenhang mit den Öldämpfen da ein großes Maß an Verantwortung bei meinem Arbeitgeber. Also, this Lufthansa chief flight attendant contacted Plus Minus. She also suffers the symptoms of exposure to neurotoxins. As she fears a backlash for appearing on camera, she would like to remain anonymous. She says, my doctor found numerous toxic stresses and strains in my body, which are still present. After your broadcast, I suddenly realized that these are exactly those symptoms which were mentioned there. We wanted to know how many contaminated air events were reported with German registered aircraft. So we asked the German Civil Aviation Authority, the LBA, but they declined to tell us the number. Now we know. After our broadcast, a parliamentarian request forced the LBA to disclose such numbers. Apparently, 156 reports were filed within four years. A stunning number, though the LBA did not initiate any action yet, and this may only be the tip of the iceberg. But plus minus questions the LBA figures, as we have records at hand that indicate a much higher count. For example, Eurowings. With a period of one and a half years on a fleet of only 15 BEA-146 aircraft, more than 140 reports are recorded in the technical logs. And Lufthansa quoted in an internal memo to their employees that statistically there may be one event every 2,000 takeoffs. That would mean one event per day with Lufthansa's fleet only. Why do reports not reach the respective authorities? An attorney representing airline employees has the following explanation. Within the instructions given to their pilots, Lufthansa has stated that the pilots should only report to their superiors and not to the public administration. At least internally, Lufthansa confirms problems with one specific aircraft type, the Airbus A340-600. The cause, a technical problem with the engines. They are currently working on a solution. Lufthansa Flight 577 is also an Airbus A340-600. A quote from the flight report. We felt sick. There was a burning taste in our mouth. Also passengers were affected. The crew had irritated mucous membranes. <coughs> Eyes, throat and nose were sore. Many passengers were vomiting. As we had the same aircraft on the outbound flight, the problem was known. Apparently, it had already been written up for quite some time in the aircraft's technical lockbox. 
This makes me angry. I get angry about the evident complacency of my company, that there is a lack of clarification about the facts and that the employees and passengers are not better protected. We have old people, ill people, we have children and pregnant mothers on board, and nobody knows what harm these oil fumes may cause to an unborn child. We asked Lufthansa if the passengers of Flight 577 were informed about the cause and the possible later health effects of this event. Answer? We do not want to participate in your program.